The Gentleman's Sweep Show, where nothing gets swept under the rug. Fun Radio Monday. I'm back. How are you? We back. You back. I'm back. You back. Sweet we back. 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 Hey, listen, let me tell you something. Before we even get into anything about this show or whatever, I hung with Smoke this weekend. He was the most amazing DJ doing it. Oh, Smoke. Man, hey, man. listen, I was a groupie in a DJ booth <laughs> hanging out with DJ Smoke. I was just flunky, man. You were standing behind him talking talk, about Ghost <laughs> Smoke. I, I was like, Ghost. Ghost Smoke. I was like, with this, Smoke this. <laughs> Fire. <laughs> I was smoking fun. You know what Smoke had me doing? What do you have me Smoke doing? Smoke had me doing stuff he ain't want to do. Smoke ain't want to read nothing out that these people told him to read. So he's like, here, read this. That's hey, he- Smoke, you sent him to go get your drinks, man? Yes! Go give me a drink, dog. Listen, listen. And I felt bad, too, because he gave me some money to get the drinks, right? And I got a drink off Smoke drink. Smoke looked at me like he was about to, you better find your ass. Smoke was about to hit me with that Ike Turner, man. What? Smoke was like, where my $5.50 at? I said, Smoke, don't worry about it. I got you in the next break, man. Oh, damn, you bought a drink. Listen, I had to. He was about to smack me, man. That's what's up. That's Smoke what's up. Smoke did his thing, yo. Shout out to the shell and shout out to everybody that was at that Buy Melanin, Melon, Buy yeah, Melanin, by, by the Melanin. pop-up shop. Yeah, yo, they had it cool, going man. on. It was black businesses. Everybody was doing their things. Shout out to the people that's out there move, moving weight. I'm talking about man, real, yeah, real right. weight, not not. Not None Escobar lit. weight, but real weight. You know what, <laughs> nah, what I'm saying? Right about that. And they was That's doing it. Up. They had they up. had a lot of things, man. They had merchandise, man. They was making their own shape butters and soaps and candles and what? everything. And it was oh my god, it was beautiful in there. <laughs> What? It was beautiful. Really? Just because, man, I'm, married, I'm sorry, I missed just that, because man. I'm married don't mean my eyes don't work. It was, yeah. it was amazing up in there. Man, you know what? I it was amazing. Beautiful yeah, was. So was it amazing? Yes. It was full of them. Oh, you know what? We getting into all this, man. First of all, where are we? What are we doing here? Yo, it know <laughs> it's Monday, man. We had the gentleman <laughs> sweep show. They already know. Front Radio was back. It's your Most boy Jay Russell with, and I'm your man in wigs. Hey, you already know we about to have a good show today. Listen, we helping people out to. Today. Yes. Today's show is Give It Up, Turn It Loose. Mm-hmm. Ah. When do you know? When do you know? You ready to have sex. You ready to have sex. Y'all in a new relationship? You got a new partner? You just feeling somebody? We want to know how do you know when it's time to go there? Yeah, and you know what? It's a good question because I think we come in sometime anticipating it for the moment. Right. Man, we ready. You know what I'm saying? Listen, Especially if right. we know that thing is fine, she bad, she got a lot going on. It don't take a lot for us. Listen, nah, since I'm out the game, you I'm, out yeah, right, right. I'm gonna right. share some things with y'all tonight so I can help y'all out. Oh, is that I'm, right? I'm, I'm gonna start off with, with my line. Oh, y'all want to know my line? How I how how I ask for for the ass? Hold on, wait. Is it going to rhyme? Listen, I don't know. I don't know how it's going to come out. You know what I mean? Right. I ain't had to practice in a minute. All right, let's go. Let's go. But listen, it. so like like the first thing you could do is always be honest. When they say you know you just want to have sex with me, be like yeah. You know what True. I mean? Because honesty True. is always a good thing. Best but my policy. my line is always this. I look at them dead in the eye and I say, listen. <laughs> I've already had sex with you a thousand times in my mind. <laughs> we might as well make this happen. You heard me. And you know what they do? What they do? They always laugh. <laughs> like Biggie said, once they grit, I'm in. Game begins. You heard me. Hold on. Right, Hold on. Do you do the, how, did, how Biggie do the little singing thing in the, in the song with, uh, well, who was that? Who, who, Oh, a little Kim. Little Kim. When huh? he was, oh, nah, Faith. Faith. When he'd be like, boo, 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 boo. <laughs> you <laughs> you know what he do? What it's he been do? a long time, man. Hey, man. I, I know. Hey, did, did you watch the Grammys? Did. Anybody, you know, anybody nah, watch yo, the Grammys? Yo, yo Bruno Mars, man. I know he probably swept, killed it because he, he always do Yo, Bruno that Bruno Mars probably killed it. He's amazing. He is. He's he amazing. Is. Off the chain of Bama could dance. I didn't realize Listen. how good the dude could dance, nah, man. Nah, that dude could dance. And yeah. that joint with him and Cardi B, they did. They did oh, they did a song together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they got a remix the though. It's Car- called Finesse. Cardi B is smart. She's making good business moves. Yeah, yeah. she's making yeah. good yeah. business Money moves. Yeah. You know, yeah. you know, she's because I heard her on this song, song Cardi Barty or Cardi Offset. Or, it was a horrible song, but it was catchy. It, re- it really is a horrible song. A, listen, but they request that song. When I say listen, they request that they song, they, they, yeah, I'm they never do. Yeah, and I'm like, I don't even like the song, but I had some people request that song. Smoke. 
joke that I least expected. Ice they yeah. like, can we? Yeah. Have you ever heard that? What's it? Ice I, trays or ice something? It's a song with the Migos and um. Man, I got uh, all that bullshit. Oh, yeah, I got yeah, all yeah, yeah, yeah. They talking yeah, about yeah, Joe yeah, Button yeah, in the yeah, channel. You yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, I got you. A hater, Joe Button. You a hater, Joe Button. Joe Button. Joe Button. Shout out to Joe Buttons. What you mean? What do you mean about bad bougie? What do you mean about bad bougie? Hey, but look, man, Cardi B. I mean, they put on an awesome show. Kendrick yes. Lamar, he swept the show too. Mm -hmm. It was Bruno Mars and Kendrick Lamar all, it, it, all, it, all it, the whole show. They swept it was right. their show. But right. you know what this show is all about? What's that all about? Helping these people get their sexual mm -hmm. frustrations out, letting them know when to jump and then when to go. But yep. dating is crazy. So I want to show y'all one of the craziest oh, dating that. scenes for one of my favorite movies. Y'all like? Y'all yeah, ready let's for this? Let's do it. Let's do it. Right. Go ahead and play that. Let the people know what I like. Fun Radio was back. I got a secret. I worship the devil. See, that's the problem. I can't find a man that can satisfy me. Now, some guys go an hour, hour and a half. That's it. But man's got to put an overtime for me to get off. I'm not interested in a man unless he tries to be in the W. Yeah, well, you know, baby, I'm almost single. My husband's on death row. This is the first day we need to reset have been on since the doctor separated us. I'm into the group thing. I was Joan of Arc in my former life. My name is Peaches, and I'm the best. All the DJs want to feel my breath. It up, it up, it up, it up, it up, it, 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 it. Yeah, I wanna work in videos. <laughs> My name is Peaches and I'm the best. All the DJs want to and rock the rest. They didn't even say that you make it up your own. Hey, yo, look, man, what were they saying though? But listen, hey smoke, that's reality of what it look like in these clubs nowadays. Hey man, man look, welcome back to the gentleman sweep, y'all. We got some good things going on. We're about to get into Hate on me, hate. Right, well, you know what I'm saying? Well, we gotta hate a little bit. We gotta hate, bro. Listen, let me tell you what I'm hating on, and it's indicative of the show. It's okay. What the show is all about. Okay. Man, I'm hating on women that just don't pay sometimes. Hey. That don't pay sometimes. Okay, so listen, it's a man, lot of them look. out there. Look at the camera and talk to these ladies. Man, listen, come on, dog. Look, I, I, I understand if I ask you out. Uh -huh. I'm gonna take you. I'm the man. I expect to, you know, take you, care of things. You, I expect to. You asked him out. I asked him out. Okay. Right, right. Okay. But if you ask me out, boom. You know what I'm saying? If you wanna take me out, uh huh. You your know time. what I'm saying? Your time. You, you know how you gonna take me to a restaurant with dudes dressing up like women? Ooh. You know what I'm saying? That's not what I do. And then the bill comes comes into play. Now I'm I'm sitting over in the corner in the, on, by the wall, trying not to, you know, because I don't want to be touched. I don't want to get into all that, right? Right. I just want to, you know. It was I was shocked to me. I didn't expect this. Uh huh. The bill come that joint seventy dollars. Oh. You asked me to go. Oh. You asked wow. me to go. Seventy thousand. Well, I gotta pay. What, what time she of day was? Check, yo, dog. It was a, it was a brunch. Oh, it was a brunch. Wow. Yo, yeah. look, it was one of those. She picked the check up. I was like, okay, hey, she you know about to pay. Hey, she was, she was sexy for a that. second. Oh, man. Until she look, passed it. Man, and then it was like, it was one of these. Look down the check, right? And then it was like. You got this? Oh, wow. What, what do you do? What do you do? I say no. What you, I say no. You just straight up have you smashed or you have not smashed? Mm. Can you talk about that? Uh, yeah. You smashed. If you smash, I say no. Right. You got you, that. You got it. Okay, all right, you, all right. When, when you slanging right, that I, thing right, right, you can get away with anything. No, you got oh, that. Oh, well, damn. That, for real? If you slang that thing right, you can get away with anything. Okay, you we got have that. to revisit that right quick. You but got yeah, that. But yeah, man, I'm like, yo, can, can y'all take care of it sometime? Listen, I'm with you Come with on, that, man. Though. It's hard I'm on the brother, you. you know? Yeah. I feel you. I feel Stop. you. Dating is expensive. Man, dog, dating is expensive. 
That's, special, that's, especially for the brothers. That's why we're going to talk about it today. I'm going to tell y'all why I try to get it on the first date. Because dating is expensive. <laughs> so the whole show we talking about, you know what I mean? When is it the right time to go in and go right. in and have sex? But you know what? Before we do that, I got to let them know. Tell me. They've been out there posting some craziness. Oh, so I'm going to talk about it, you know what I mean? It's time for that time on the show. It's that time you, you posted, posted it. So we done scavenger, looked all over the internet, a YouTube. I looked at Instagram, Snapchat. I had to get it as soon as I can. But y'all been out there posting some craziness. Some crazy. Some man. stuff it's been crazy. funny. So I'm going to talk about it. Y'all ready for this? Let's, Let's go. go. And they can't get mad at me. Let's go. You posted. You posted it. Yep. Let's go. The first one. Now, this is the funniest thing I've seen all week, right? <laughs> this is the picture that says what you look like when you start your presidency <laughs> and what you look like at the end of it. Now, Pete, what they said, if Oprah ever went to be the president <laughs> of the United States, that's what she would, look, what like. She would look like after Now, think eight about years that. That's exactly Oprah. what she no, would look like. No, we can't do that. <laughs> that's what no, Oprah would Oprah, look like. No, 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 do it. I'll put this up today. It's Oprah's birthday. Shout out to Oprah. Happy Winfrey, birthday, Oprah. The sexiest 64-year-old old woman she on the plane. Oprah 64, I still, I would get divorced and get with her in a second. I had to tell my, tell my lady, I'm sending you them checks. I don't even know if we had to get divorced. My I'm lady, sending you my them lady checks. Probably, my lady probably be like, go on, go on, Listen, do this. We're not getting divorced. Oprah, right. Oprah will look crazy in office. We can't have Oprah running nah, for office. Okay. Now she's going to look like that. Nah, Let's go to nah. the next one, man. <laughs> this is crazy. Say if you're paying bills alone, you're single. You're single. So yeah. all them ladies out there that think they got a man, my man Lee told y'all, if you paying your bills by yourself, girl, you single. Because if you got a real man, your real man going to help you out with them bills. Pay the yeah. bills. If not, clean you your car, clean yeah. your car. Put, yeah. He might put gas in there. Gas in I'm only yeah. putting half a tanker up to $10, I mean, whichever one come first. I'm tank. not getting off the $10, <laughs> man. It is what it is, man. <laughs> Shout out to Lisa and um, what they call it, um, random acts of oh, kindness. Right. Random acts of kindness. <laughs> right, Let's go right. to the next one. You posted it. Now, listen, this is the funniest thing this is what our kids are dealing with in school they say they trying to teach them to stop drop and roll this kid said first i would stop next i would, would drop, drop then i would shut, shut them down, down open man. up <laughs> shop oh no that's how rough riders <laughs> roll <laughs> let's go to the next one what's up with these kids in southeast man wow listen this is because women don't have a sense of humor. when when she jokes about you you laugh and everything is cool but when you joke about her <laughs> yeah. She get in her right. emotions. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> she get really in her emotions. I mean, she don't play that. Yeah. You, you see how her whole face just listen. Just, you can't. Right, you can't like play that. with women, but right. so much, man. And then they get this, and when they get this, they want to hold out on everything. And you sleeping on the couch, man. Shout out to the <laughs> ladies out there that ain't petty. Hey, but listen. Oh, I had to bring back. I had to bring back the thirst trap of the week. Y'all ready? Oh, I know y'all yeah, been man. missing. Oh, here we go. I've been bringing back the thirsty of the week. Y'all ready for this one? Let's get with the thirst. Oh, oh, listen right here. Yes. yes, this is my friend Bonnie Speak. She's amazing. Shout out to Bonnie. She she has a man, though. Me and her man's is real cool, though. But Bonnie right here, oh, my gosh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. and, and that's just the laying down zone. But if Bonnie is got up and she, that's that a, a, I don't, that's a ussy. I need to be up in that zone. No, yeah. no, I don't. God, the uh, devil is a liar. Uh, Woo, he flipped that around, Monotech. <laughs> now, listen, yes. listen. Oh, my goodness. Great. So, Bonnie, uh, shout out Philly's finest, man. Philly, man. Philly's finest all day I'm long. Listen, that's a selfie. That's a selfie. I, listen, y'all keep doing it. Y'all keep posting it. I keep loving it. I tell y'all what, I'm loving it. Yeah, I'm loving it. I'm keep posting stuff like that. I'm a little preoccupied. Hey, hey listen, hey, I want to hey, do hey, some. Hey, real, I want to do some real quick, though. I want to do some real quick on a serious note before we really get into this conversation and discussion. We had Lisa. Um, we had Lisa um, Terrell on last yes. week. And we had, you know, the whole love for it movement and things like that. And I know it's time for I See You, but I want to do I See You in a little different manner um, right now. Um, Jacob, if you wouldn't mind putting that picture up for me, um, I would appreciate this. This is a picture right here of um, Sh um, Storm. We call it Storm or Stormaya Denson Jackson. And um, Stormaya is the young lady, the 12-year-old um, young lady that took her life last week. Um, and it was actually the day after um, we did our show. She yeah. took our life last week down there in South East at the seed school from being bullied, yeah. you know, and um, yeah, after crazy. I seen this, it kind of really broke me down because um, her aunt uh, or um, someone I know is actually related to um, Storm. 
Um, and so I know wow. it hit her really hard. And so at this particular point, I decided that, you know what, I was going to make sure that whatever memory of her was going to continue to be lasted. So I made sure I called Lisa and told Lisa that the gentleman, um, Sweet Show, was definitely going to be a part of her rally. I definitely was going to speak um, and, and shout her out. So I definitely want to say I see you. I know it's hard out there um, for a lot of kids, but I really want to talk to you guys. And I want to let you know that if you're being bullied or if people are being talking about you or whatever it is, you got to stand strong. There's people out there that love you. There's people out there that care about you um, and that are going to fight for you. And I, I really want to be honest and tell you guys this is that most of the people that was cool or most of the people that was bullying people growing up in high school and back in the day they taking my order when I show up at McDonald's or, or whatever right. it is. That's a lot right. of those that's people are straight up losers, you know what I mean? Yeah, so right. what I want y'all to know, being cool is what you determine being cool is. That's right. You know what I mean? So you don't have to fit inside of no type of bubble or fit inside of whatever. Make the bubble fit you. That's so right. at this particular point, do your um, don't worry about who's talking about you um, and, and just continue to live. So, you know, Storm decided she couldn't take enough, but I tell you one thing, we're going to let her memory live That's and right. we're going to make sure every Everybody hears a story. Um, so again, that rally is going to be March 11th. Um, I'm definitely going to be speaking. We're going to have some things going on. Um, and we're going to help the family in any way we can. So we're about to go to break. And as we go to break, I'm going to have um, Smoke play or something out. This is for you, Storm. We appreciate your life. You will be appreciated and missed. And we love you. Absolutely. Gentlemen, sweet. See, it's all about emotion. Emotions All about Emotions Yeah Emotion makes you Sugar, sugar, darling Emotion makes you So glad, baby Yeah For most of all Let's talk about sex, baby Let's talk about you and me Let's talk about all the good things And the bad things I swear I use that for like three intros of videos. What's up everybody, Kyris here. So today we're gonna talk about seven signs you're not ready to have sex. Number one, if you can't look at yourself naked, you are not ready to have sex because chances are you won't want anybody else to be looking at you naked, let alone having them kiss up on your body and touching on your body. Number two, comfortability. If you can't eat a burrito in front of dude, if you can't even converse about sex with this person, you're not ready to boom, 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 boom with this person. <laughs> Number three, if you cannot say penis or vagina or sex with a straight face, you are not ready to have sex. Vagina, vagina, penis, 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 penis. If you're unsure of the risk factors of the act of making babies, you're not ready to have sex. STIs can happen, okay? Herpes, chlamydia, crabs, pregnancy, pregnancy with twins, and soul ties. Soul ties are real, yo. You are going to be emotionally connected to this person forever. Forever. Number five, if you cannot go into the pharmacy, buy a pack of condoms, get some plan B, or if you're too scared to have the gynecologist looking at your crotch, you're not ready to have sex, son. Six, if you're having sex just to have sex, if you just want to get rid of it, or if you said at 20 years old, if we're both virgins, we have to have sex, okay? Lastly, number seven, your gut feeling. If your gut is telling you, I don't think I should do this. If your morals are going off in your head like, I don't think I'm ready. If your religious beliefs are that you should wait till marriage, then listen to that voice, listen to your gut. Don't do it. Before I go, I just wanna say, if you do feel like you're ready, and you know the clothes come off and y'all are together and then suddenly you get scared and you feel like you shouldn't be doing this and you don't wanna do this, say it. You are allowed to change your mind. Don't go through with it just because you don't wanna look like a tease. If in that last moment you feel like you're not ready, don't, don't do it. Because regret is the worst feeling on this planet to live with. 
Hey, <laughs> What's happening? let me ask you a question. Do you believe in soul ties? Nah, dog, I don't. Uh, I don't. Look, there'd be a whole lot of something's all up in here. If that's the you'd case. be walking around you? with a whole bunch of bodies, man. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I'd be like the exorcist. I have like thousands of bodies walking around, <laughs> yo. Right. It's crazy. So y'all know what we're talking about. We're talking about give it up, yes. turn it loose. When is the perfect and right time? To have sex or, you know, on that thing. So I got my main man. Sometimes, listen, sometimes y'all, because I cleaned up my act a little bit. Right, right. Sometimes y'all need to hear from somebody that's like the old me, you know what I mean? Nah, that's going not- that's going to keep it 100% real. Right, right. 100. Right. So I got my man Rashad on the line. Rashad, what's Gucci with you, babe? What's going on? Hey, now, baby boy, just cooling in the set. I hear you. Always. I hear you. Hey, listen, I want to ask you something. I, you heard what our topic of the day is about, right? Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. So I want to ask you, in your opinion, when do you think is the right time to go ahead and have sex with somebody that you just meeting or getting to know or whatever the situation is? Well, you know, they always say no time like the present. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like, what know. they say is what? <laughs> No time like the present. I mean, shoot, there ain't no time to waste. We might die the next day, so you know. You ain't going with right you now. ain't going with the yellow approach, are you? <laughs> hey, that's the only way it is, right? You ain't you you ain't gonna come back. So let me ask you a question. If you going with the outlook that you really trying to get into it as soon as possible, can you are you able to have any type of sustainability or relationship after that? Or that's just a you know a quick smash and y'all go y'all way, or that kind of outlines what type of friendship y'all gonna have? No, I mean it man, we all human beings, so you know what I'm saying? The fucking now or fucking later ain't gonna stop nothing. You know what I'm saying? If I'm gonna fuck with you like that after the fact, it's cool. If I'm not gonna fuck with you after the fact, it's cool too, because you might not like me. I might not like you after the situation done. That's true. That's so, true. Yeah. so let look. Let you me ask you, you this. I, I was talking mm. to somebody about this earlier today, and, and it was a girl, as a matter of fact. And she says that she believes that men wouldn't respect her after giving it up on that first date. What do you think about she's that? Silly. Huh? She's silly. <laughs> she's silly. <laughs> she's silly. <laughs> he <laughs> said she's silly. <laughs> Why is she silly, Rashad? <laughs> I'm gonna tell you like this. For me personally. You give me the pussy today or two weeks from now is not going to change my outlook on you. Thank because you. if I go to your house on the first day and it's dirty, I'm going to think you dirty. Okay. It, it ain't going to change two weeks from now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? After you give me the pussy and I think it's good, you're still dirty. I don't like that. Right. So, right. You, you know what I'm saying? It, it is what it is. Either it's going bar- In the word of Pepsi Ken, you're going to barbecue a meal, dude. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, that was listen to a man that cross Pippin can. <laughs> Yo, you're crazy, man. Listen, I I'm agree on. with you though. This is what I agree. I agree when people are out there and they talking time limits or whatever. I believe that's a problem to me. You know what I mean? This whole 90 day rules or yeah. wait three dates or whatever. That's a problem to me. Right, because right. this is the problem I see. And you tell me how you feel about this, Rashad. You in a situation, mm. right? You're going to wait. You you like this young lady. She cool. You go to her house. She get a house check. The house is clean. You know what I mean? She ain't got too much kids. Or if she got kids, they acting right. So you invest some time in the situation. What happens after you put that time in the situation and you start liking her a little bit and you find out that the sex is trash? What do you do at that point? It's a sad situation now because it's like it's like you you torn between two two things. You know what I'm saying? You can't be super petty and be like, "Oh, the pussy garbage your mouth." And <laughs> says who? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because you know what I'm saying? You don't want to be a dickhead. But at the same time, the chicks do it all the time. They do. They it. do all, all the time. time. Yes. yes. They turn their yes. nose up let quick. You, let you go over there and give a chick five minutes, and you just because you excited, and you give her five minutes, and you out of there. Uh-huh. Oh, you 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 ain't never gonna see her again. Oh, yeah. you in trouble. You yeah. in tr- oh, hey, well, that contract ended. Yeah. You right. in right. trouble. Right. It's right. over. Null and void. She don't know you. Boy. Boy. If you go over there after that one shot, like that's that's pressure. Yeah. But pressure either <laughs> busts pipes or makes diamonds. <laughs> so it's up to you. Now I quoted that from Pip and Kids, little brother, Smooth Tyrone. Now listen, now, if you if you go over there and you do what you're supposed to do, right. then you all right. But I like how you say you got excited. So you got excited, mm-hmm. broom broom. You let one out. That's when you gotta have that snap back and get back in there. 
know yeah, I mean. yeah. So you know, you gotta get back in the fight. You can't, you can't get. But, but you know, you know, the first impression is everything. You never get a second chance. You're right. Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, you know how I go. In, in the world we used to live, well, the world you used to live in, so to speak, you know how I go. You get up in there, you get to acting right, and shit might, your gun might, your gun might be, he got a hair trigger on it. <laughs> <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Boom! Boom! <laughs> <laughs> Especially if you've been trying to get at that thing for the longest time, man. Yeah, you know, buddy, but I but I'm sorry, to... it's discipline, man. I'm meditating. Hey Rashad, hey you, Rashad, man. you sound somewhat responsible. So listen, we gonna go, <laughs> we gonna go into this next part of the show that's called Marcus Darling. So listen, we gonna need your help because some people out there is gonna need your help. What I'm going to do is okay. we have people that write the show and they got problems. Marcus, my man here, to my to my left, is the only person on this show that's qualified <laughs> to answer any goddamn thing. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk anyway. So I'm going to read the scenario and let Marcus go first and get right. some sound okay. advice. Rashad, I'll let you go second. Smoke, if you want to go, you can jump in. It's but I'm going to say the damn last word. Oh, damn. You ready for this, Rashad? Let's get it. This no is what more. we gonna make it do what it do. This is what it says. Let's help this person out. It says, "Dear Marcus, yes, I was placed in a touchy situation, and I'm hoping you can help me get out of it. They say it's very rare for a woman to meet other females that they instantly cling to. Well, I met my best friend in middle school, and we have been kicking it hard for almost 15 years now." Just recently, my brother moved back into town after going through a hard divorce to get back on his feet and start his life over. I allow him to move into my house because I have no kids, I'm single, and I really enjoy hanging out with my brother at times. My best friend has a key to my house, and I started to notice her spending more time in my house than usual. Well, one day I got out of a meeting really early and came home to discover my best friend and my brother going at it on my sofa. I don't know if I was more upset at them having sex or the fact that they was having sex on the couch that I love to lounge on. Look, they are both grown and what they do is their business. But I know my brother is really vulnerable at this point in his life and my best friend is a love addict. There is absolutely no way this turns out good for either of them. I need help. Should I just mind my business and let them do what they're doing? Not on my couch, of course. Or should I ask them to end this because I already know it's not going to end well? I need your help. What do you think she should do, Marcus? Well, first of all, they're two adults. Okay. That's first. They're two adults. But my first thing is, not on my couch, dog. Not on my couch. I don't want no stains on my couch. You know what yeah. I mean? So, yes, by all means, you're going to have to put them in check on that one. Okay. I agree. Tell them, get a, don't, don't, don't disrespect your couch, man. Okay. That's, that's okay. crazy. Okay. You know, you don't want no cum stains on your couch. Hey. That's, that's hey. fine. Hey. You know what I mean? I, I can fake that joy and say, oh, don't worry about that. That was mayonnaise. Okay. You know, yeah. but that's my mayonnaise. Hey. You know what I'm saying? Nobody else. Hey. You know what I'm saying? So, but at the end of the day, they are adults, but you control your house and your environment. So by all means, tell them, you got to check that right then and there. Not on my couch. Y'all need to go get a room somewhere. What you say, Rashad? What you say? I mean, I, I'm gonna say this. I've been in that situation before, man. So, okay. You know, uh, not so much living with my sister, but hell, I knocked one of my sister's best friends off on the balcony when they came down for a birthday to visit me down in Georgia. Hey, happy uh, birthday! I know. Happy <laughs> birthday! Yeah, it, it, I, I had to do it. Did your sister come you in and catch you though? No, they ain't catch me. I told my sister about it. I don't keep no secrets from her. I let her know. She okay. Said, hey, I, I, told, I told her before a friend was getting there she was going to get for later. But yes. You know, was, <laughs> right. Yeah. For later? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I imagine. Yeah. No, but but the, the I, I think personally, you know what I'm saying, uh, the, this this person probably, the couch part, yeah, you know what I'm saying, y'all got to go get in the bed, the floor, I don't know, use something else, a blow-up mattress. Yeah. But as far as far as trying to tell them not to fuck with each other, that's crazy. Because you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you can't stop it. It might be the, even though they both kind of retarded, that might be, that two retarded people might make a perfect baby. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So it might work out perfectly for them. What you, you say, can't. Smoke? What you say? Well, well, check this out. First of all, he got my name, so my actual governor name is Rashad. Rashad. You got two Rashad. Yeah. Yeah. So, two nuts. Yeah, so I already that's agree with him know, already. That's you know what I'm saying? So that's all top. That's all rip. But nah, I mean, yeah, man, you really got to think about that shit. 
you know, like, I wouldn't get in it. Mm-hmm. I would say something, but I wouldn't be like, you got to stop. But yeah. I would say something. Yeah. yeah. I would be like, nah, not my couch. <laughs> like, even the floor. <laughs> yeah. That's I'm... easy to clean. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Not the couch. Because everybody sits on the couch. Everybody, when people come to your house, they sit on your couch. Yes. Not yeah. the couch. Not you know what I'm saying? Couch. That's all I say. But do you. Listen. But what if, what if he worked for Stanley Steamers? Hey, <laughs> good move. What if he could clean the couch? Nah, nah, Shout nah. out to Stanley Stevens. Cut us <laughs> that damn check. Uh, hey, but listen, listen. For the first time, I'm agree with all of yeah. y'all. I ain't got uh, nothing crazy to say. Uh, what's I'm the spin? With all, and there is no spin. I agree with you guys because first of all, they grown. Right. right and right. if they grown, they could do what they want to do. Right. And she's been your friend for 15 years, and your brother screws over. She's still gonna be your friend. No doubt. She didn't ask you if she could go there. She chose to do that. So her being grown, that's what she chose to do. Yeah. If she fall in love and he say, "Hey, I'm not right there right now. I'm just doing me. I just got out of a rough relationship." She grown enough yeah. to handle that. You that's know what right. I mean? So she need to get. Her emotions in check. She didn't understand where she is, where he is. This might not be a love situation. Yeah, and right. bust nuts and be happy. Keep it moving. But not on her couch. Not on a couch. Not on her couch. Mm. So I tell you what, Rashad, you stay close. We're going to take a little break real quick. And then we're going to come right back to you. This is the Gentleman's Sweep Show. Speak pimping, baby. To pay or not to pay? That is the question. Nope. Mm-mm. Shakespeare didn't have to deal with these high-ass food taxes. I usually don't pay for people on the first date. Why? Because if we're going out on the first date, that probably means that we're trying to get to know each other. And if we're trying to get to know each other, which means technically we're strangers. We don't know each other or anything. But it's some people that feel like when you take them out on a date that you are obligated to pay. You know what it's called when you give somebody a hot meal that you don't know? The homeless shelter. Now don't get it twisted. I'm a gentleman. I know how to treat a lady. If I ask a woman out on the first date, then I pretty much expect expect to pay because I requested her time. What was the key word in that sentence? Lady. A lady is somebody that you treat like a queen, but a lady is also someone who knows how to take care of a king. She pays for him proudly because she wants him to know that she can give as well as receive. But there's a certain group of people that just destroy all of this. You know what those people are called? Hoovers. Hoovers are people that always want to be wined and dined, but they don't believe in returning the favor. Hoovers take advantage of people's generosity, which makes us not want to be generous anymore. I'm a gentleman, but my ass is far from green. I treat my bank account like women treat their cootie cake, their snatch. I'm not giving it up to everybody on the first date. I refuse to spend money on people that I don't even know if I'm going to see again. You ain't going to treat my bank account like street booty. All right, let's think about it. If you take a new person out every weekend, four new people, pay for everything, and it doesn't work out with any of them, you know what that sound is? That's the sound of your bank account being raped. I was talking to one of my female friends, and she told me if a guy asks her out, then she expects him to pay. I agree with that. We on the same page. So then I say, so when you ask a guy out, you pay for him too, right? Hell no. I only pay for myself. You know, that was real childish. Really? Are you serious? And when I asked her her reason of why, Her only explanation was, I don't pay for guys. If that ain't the most selfish shit this side of the Mississippi. You expect to be wined and dined, but you can't treat that man to a meal and a rum and fucking coke? The second reason she gave me was she's old fashioned. So you do all the cooking and you do all the cleaning when you have a boyfriend, right? You know what she said to that? Uh, no. Hey, man. Hey, look, I straight up agree with him, dog. Listen, what you agree? What did he say? Hey, he look, man. The, the whole bank account and the coochie thing. Uh-huh. Yeah, man. It, hey, look, my bank account, it, it, see, I get a checking and a savings. Uh huh. Right? Yeah. I yeah, got yeah. a budget. Okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if you go out on four dates and you don't get nothing in return at the end of those four dates, what, what you, 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 like he said, your bank account is raped. All right. So, let <laughs> me. Let me tell y'all what y'all got to do. If you're going to date, you got to be... Meth- and first of all, dating is expensive. Yeah, would, y'all, yeah. would y'all agree that dating is expensive? For men. I agree. Okay. Oh, For hell men. yeah. Okay. Because I'm going to tell you, if you don't date right, then you're going to get clowned. I'm going to give an example. So women, they act like they act like they don't care. Like, you know, they, they, you, say you go to pay, right? Mm. You go to pay. And you pull a coupon out <laughs> when you pay. <laughs> They gonna clown you for pulling a coupon out 
when you pay right, what you pay. Right. But I pay, right. Women are petty, man. Petty as a, and you know what? I ain't never thought about that. I might have to I go with the coupon, about that. baby. I, 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 I don't give a damn what they think, I though. No, but I, I've done it, but, you know. Listen. You did all the slides. I'm going to tell y'all. I ain't going to have no shame. You know, I date many women at one time, or I did at one time. Right. But there's an art to dating. There's things you got to do to make yeah. sure at the end of the day you taking care of your best interest. And your best interest got to be your pocket. Indeed. So Indeed. I'm going to give you some hints. Okay. When you go to movies, you got to go to matinees. Okay. You got to go to matinees. You got to go to movies where it's still light outside because you got to say I got a lot of stuff to do with my kids. So I'm going to go ahead and squeeze you in. I'm going to put you first on Saturday. We're going to do what we got to do. Go to this movie real quick. I'm going to hook up with my kids. But then after they go to sleep or their mama come get them, I'm going to pull up on you and we're going to go get some drinks. Right, right. When right. we go get some drinks, you know where we going? Where we going? Y'all don't know about Applebee's. Or y'all don't know about Fridays. Shit, they always I know got about the all day yeah. happy. Happy hour. Yeah. Five dollars, yeah. man. Yeah. That's yeah. where we going. Yeah. Okay, all right. Y'all don't have no, no, right. to pop bottles. And go. No, we going to the five dollar joints where if I get two or three good ones in you or if we pop that la da 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 you going to get that in you. You messed up. Now it's time to... Are you ready to rumble? Uh, forget the matinee, dog. I'm going to Twilight. You guys better get up at 10 o'clock in the morning. Hey, we doing Rashad, Twilight let, Rashad, let them know you got to be strategic if you out here dating these broads, man. Oh, I don't know, man. Look, you, one thing that's certain things to show, man. You, you, you can't be too cheap. You can't be too expensive. You know what I'm saying? You got to be right in the pocket. You got I, I, I go on dates based off of uh, a, a number of things. You know what I'm saying? Personality will get you a certain date. Looks will get you a certain date. <laughs> you said looks will get you a certain date? Hell yeah, you know, you ugly, definitely. And we doing all kind of dark activities. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. dark, he, he doing the market say, turn down the lights. Just turn the lights yeah. down. Yeah, we doing all kind of dark activity. If you ain't the best looking joint, we doing movies. Uh, and we ain't doing the nighttime uh, when everybody there. We doing matinees. So, right. baby, you got to get up like 1130 in the morning. We going yeah. first thing in the morning, go to the movies. Hey, Rashad, you know let, me, let me ask you this, man. So do you mm. think... That and this and this, do you think that men's bank accounts are as important as important to us as a woman's uh, body is to her? In other words, you know what they're giving up as far as sex is concerned. Is it as more important? Can you compare the two? You know what I'm saying? Can we compare? Hell, hell, hell yeah! <laughs> look at love and hip hop. Okay, I you look, look at some of them niggas on there. And what they look like, yeah. right, and, right, and, right, and look at and look at them bitches, and think it to yourself. Would he have that if he won the goddamn with with, with thirty thousand dollars on his neck? Hell you know no, man? man. Hell nah, nah. I, I look at that and, shit a lot. A lot of them yeah. niggas, and they be having the baddest bitch. Think about everybody that been through uh, Kim K. And yeah, she she been oh, yeah. through some niggas. Oh, yeah. She Top been out. through some niggas, but look, it's, it's all been dollar and, signs. Amber Rose. Amber Rose is dating 21 Savage. Come right, the fuck on. Right. You be like, what the hell is she doing? Listen. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> I, got, I got a theory about that. What's the theory? I got a theory about that. Ugly niggas, ugly people in general, they so ugly they don't care no more. They doing things that they know they got no business doing. They going to girls that they know they got no business doing, yo. Because, listen, I got to tell y'all this, though, for real. I got to tell y'all this. Women nowadays are no longer messing with handsome niggas anymore. You want to know why? Because they know we going to dog them and cheat on them. But if you get you an ugly nigga, yeah, they know that. That's, 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 he going to respect you. Because he already know you out of his league. He going to do whatever he can do. And I'm going to tell y'all this. I want to say something else, but there's... In my mind, there is no way this can come out and not sound a little hey. So I'm gonna keep that to myself. <laughs> and this is internet radio, baby. You can say whatever, whatever you want. Man, my, you gotta say it's too late. My you just you just said it. Go ahead. 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 Why ain't never mess with dudes before? Yeah. They gonna look, be like, he ugly got, girl, got, he ugly girl, little, but he put that thing down. I have down. philosophy myself. What you say? I said I have philosophy myself on that. What's your philosophy? People, it, 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 and it's real simple. It's two things. 
you know what I'm saying, is either the nigga paying good or he's laying good. He's paying the land. Yeah, that makes sense. And if it's a combination of two, he prime, he, he prime thing. Right, right. Then that's the champion. That makes sense, though. Listen, I got a budget. Real talk. Real, and I, mm-hmm. Some of y'all, I listen, I, I, think, I think some people out there ain't hustling wrong. You understand what I'm saying? I'm saying this is what I mean by you hustling wrong. I think too many dudes out there letting women know what they got. So when you let women know what you yeah, got, the then they man. expect a certain thing. I give an example. Some guys like, yo, I got a six-figure job. I push this, I push that. Like, right, for real, right. I work for the post office between 4 o'clock and 7 o'clock, <laughs> sorting mail. I, ain't get no, I, get, I can't get no other job but sorting mail. First of all, if I'm going to come pick you up, let me ask my mama if I could borrow her car <laughs> and come pick you up. You want to know why? Because I'm a firm believer in setting the expectations real low. Because if I set the expectations real low, whatever I do is going to blow the hell out of your mind. <laughs> I'm going to blow your mind. Y'all do set the bar too high. Y'all hustling backwards. When you got the bar set this high, there's no coming back. So what do you, how, how you do that, Jake? I let a woman know from the jump I ain't shit. I okay. let it from the jump. Y'all laughing. But hey, Rashad, tell these dudes. I let them, because women like bad boys who ain't shit because women like projects. They want to save. They want to save people. Marcus, if I was a woman, I can't save you. You already got it together. So you know what she gonna do? I'm gonna fuck with the funny one. Cause first I'm gonna take him to get a haircut, and then I'm gonna help. Then I'm, then I'm gonna help him with his resume, and then I'm gonna teach him some diction, and then. Bitch, I got degrees. You can't teach me nothing. I play stupid on purpose. So that's your okay. Okay. All right. I know right. expectations, man. Damn. Okay, so you hustling backwards. <laughs> <laughs> you making it too hard for yourself. <laughs> okay, but you know what? I'm seeing something different from these women, man. I'm oh, seeing something different. Oh, they talking the about same, they talking man. about hey look, man, I had one girl tell my boy, this Bama pulls up in a brand new Lexus. I right? can't do it. Look, he, she, he pulls up in a brand new Lexus. We in the car. She has a 500, what's, what's the 500 asset, a slick joint, right? Yeah, yeah. Brand spanking. Okay, there. she riding good. Yeah, right. she riding, she, she doing it. Yes. So he throws a little bit of game at her, you know, he puts his best out there on the table. Yes. She looks him straight in the face and says, mm, you're driving a Lexus. If you don't at least have what I have, yeah. then uh, I can't talk to you. Yeah. yeah. What's up with oh, that, yo? That's easy. That's a, I mean, yeah. she had the nerve to say that. We were wow. out in front of Republic Garden. Do you remember Republic Garden? That was the old spot. Yeah, that was a long time ago. I remember you know that. Hey, Rashad. She actually said that. Yeah. When a woman says that to you, how you come at her, Rashad? I'm a, look, man, I'm like, look at this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> <Hold on. laughs> you can't you, 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 Okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. You, you, at that point, she out of pocket. Like, damn, bitch. You know what I'm saying? How yeah. I know you ain't got fifteen thousand dollars a month in child support because you used to fuck Eddie Murphy? Right. Yeah, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Right. Hey, listen, right. Eddie no, Murphy, though. You crazy, though. Like, for real, listen, I'm, I'm going to tell you this. I'm a firm believer. Now, listen, I am a firm believer on setting the bar low. I'm, I'm, I, 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 I am the, I am the, in the dictionary, if you look for setting the bar low, you will see yes. a picture yeah, Jay, of me. I, Jay Russ up there like this. Listen, okay, think about it from oh. this way. Think about it from this way. When you go, okay, I'm, I'm, I just need you to answer these. You got a nice woman, right? Okay. She's amazing. Mm-hmm. Okay. She looks good. Right. Smells good. Right. Got a great job. Yeah. First date, where you take her? Where do the I house. take her? Where do you? T- he already said he's taking her to the house. All right. Where, All right. Do, where do you take her? Hmm. I'm gonna take her to the park. We're gonna talk. So you're gonna take her yeah, to the park, yeah, all right? Yeah, yeah. You gotta do something. You can't take her to the house. You're you know gonna talk. Take to the okay. House. So you're gonna go to the park. You're gonna talk, and then what? Might go get a drink or something. You okay, know, okay. Something, you know, so we can talk and communicate. Okay. Right, right. Okay. Then what? Then I might slow walk and try to get it to the house. Yay. Hey, hey. There you go. You know Everything what I'm gonna do? leads to home. Before we, yes, even, before we even meet up, we having this conversation on the phone. Because I ain't trying to waste your time, and I'm not going to let you waste my time. 
Now, I, I deal with the park. That's real good. I deal with the park. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for, on I'm going to go on Google, and I'm going to look for activities <laughs> this weekend. I'm going to find some free fun activities date night. for this weekend. <laughs> it might be, if you ain't from D.C., you're going to come down to D.C. We're going to walk around the monuments. We're going to do something. We're going to do something <laughs> right. for free. Right. You want to get fun? Listen, they got them damn bikes that they leave on the sidewalk. We're going to catch two of them oh, bikes. Lord. I'm going to pay for it. We're going to bicycle ride girl i want to see if you got that and stamina yeah. and endurance to keep up with me because i'm a beast in these sheets i need to make sure you're gonna be able to keep up so we're gonna get on this damn bike and we're gonna ride this bike for at least 16 I can't take them 17 nowhere. blocks i know we can't take them nowhere you, know what I'm and then you, you, sweat, you sweaty once you're sweaty you ain't gonna want to go nowhere babe you know what we can come back to my house we could just chill and when we go back to the house you know what we're gonna do well, Before we do yeah, anything, yeah. you got to pass the white towel. You got to pass the white wash rag and the white <laughs> towel challenge. If you can't pass the white towel and the, the white, white wash rag challenge, challenge, I don't care how far you are, it's a wrap. Hey, no, have, have you ever, but, but, hey, Rashad, but, but, Rashad, Rashad have you ever seen what a lady looks like when you hand her that white dove soap with that white rag oh, and that man. white washcloth? Oh, and you say, here you go. What they look like? Oh, um, man. Oh man, totally look. Did. Why why you think when you go to parties, don't nobody use the wash rags in the room? They be scared as hell. <laughs> <laughs> Them jokes be looking brownish and reddish and crazy looking when you finish. If you can't pass. Hell yeah. Oh, don't, don't white red. Them white rags be folded up prettier than they was before they came in the room. <laughs> right, right. That's With true. a brown stain in the middle. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. Hey Rashad, no. hey, Rashad, let me ask you a question from a man staring because this is this is this is where women look. I'm gonna be serious for a second if I can. I can't, but I'm gonna try. <laughs> women, women, they just don't want to make a mistake. That's right. what it's about. They right. don't want to make a mistake. They don't mm -hmm. want to give the ass to the wrong dude. But the truth is, the, most of the women that say they choosy, they make the worst mistakes. Let's be real. Oh they, lord, they yes. make the Those worst. Little, they, they make do. the worst mistakes. It's counterproductive. So They're my you. favorites. <laughs> oh, I love them. I, lo I, right. love, I love pretty women with low self-esteem. That's what I love. If you're out there, holla at your boy. Yeah. But listen, let me tell you this, honestly. How long are you willing to wait for some? How long are you willing to wait? All right, it's levels to everything. Okay. Right? So if you real fine, like three times I'm going to go out with you. Three. Three. Maybe. And that. And the three, if we get to the third one, that's only because you performed well in the first two. Okay. It kept me interested. Okay. But like an all rent, a regular joint, ah, baby, you got maybe one. Ah, depending on how big your booty is, I like booty, maybe a second one. <laughs> so physically, it matters. It matters. Oh, hell yeah. Because it matters to them. You know what I'm saying? They worry about fucking up. We the ones with all the pressure. Okay. Hey, you listen. know what I'm saying? They can go, they can go to Rainbow and get fly and come out and look good. We Man, gotta Rainbow go spend eight hundred dollars. Thirteen dollars for an outfit, yo. Right. And if you got right. the white exactly. body, it'd be like, whoa, you look nice. They can go to pay less and buy a pair of shoes, dog. Yeah, yeah that ain't nothing. So yeah, it ain't nothing. Marcus, pull up, Marcus, pull how long up, are you? Pull up to a, pull up to a chick with a Russell outfit on and see what happens. How about that? How about <laughs> as long right. as, hey, listen, yeah, the, as long as the that target body special? Look right, we don't care where it came from. Marcus, how long are you willing to wait? How long are you, you willing to wait? You know what? Real talk. So I don't want to devalue what women are worth. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I don't want to devalue what women are worth. Okay. I believe that they have something. They have something of value. I get it. They got to be protective of themselves. Okay. So depending on what's going on up here and what they about up here, what they talking about, how they carry me and how they yeah. carry themselves, you know, it might be, it might, it, I don't have a specific time frame. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I feel like if the time is right, if the mood is right, Let's get it in, because at the end of the day, I'm going to respect you regardless. I'm going to treat you. Re I'm going to treat you with respect regardless. You know? Have you ever smashed on the first date? Yeah, I have. Have yes, you ever I had have. a relationship with a woman you smashed on the first date? I have. Uh, I have too. Uh, yeah, kind of. Okay. Okay. Okay, but listen. No, so, hold on. Let me ask Smoke something real quick. Smoke, okay. How, how, long, how long would you wait, Smoke? Well, I mean, like I said, I already had that one incident in the past, but I mean, I have waited. I waited. Three months was the max. Okay, so let me ask all of y'all, if you're waiting, mm -hmm. 
Are you waiting like you like chilling by yourself waiting? Or are you waiting like my starting point guard ain't acting right? Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm go to my like two guard. My point guard ain't acting right. 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 Suck. I'm gonna sub real quick. Yeah. yeah. Well, every huh? every man in the world got got they 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 got the one they chasing, but they got the one they can go to without question. Right. 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 It, it, every woman too don't sleep. That's no and, and that's sleep. fine. That's no fine. Shorty, go ahead over there. But look. You ain't gonna get too many more of these high ass dinners. <laughs> <laughs> right. That joint gonna drop down to Chick fil A real quick. <laughs> Listen. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. You gonna get. I waited longer than three days. Don't get me wrong. I can't right, do right. it. I can't do it. Huh? We, I can't, we, we, you can't we, do longer than three days. Let me, let me explain something, because I'm, I'm going to help a lot of women out. So all my women out there that's listening, <laughs> y'all need to hear from me. This is real talk. This is real talk. I'm about to, I'm about to, get, I'm about to get a lot of y'all wedding rings this year. I'm about to get y'all proposals. I'm about to give y'all, if y'all third on the list, I'm going to move you from three to two. If you two, I'm about to make a lot of side pieces, number one. I'm about to help a lot of y'all out right now, all right? The best words that you can say for you to put you in the situation that you want to be in, What's that? Is no. Uh-uh. Not right now. That's the best you can do. Because I'm going to tell you something. Whenever a man gets what he wants, it's not really much of a challenge involved. If you can make it to three dates and you ain't gave me the pussy by date number two, you thorough. You, you're amazing. I ain't met no woman that could pass date. I, when I, I asked you, do you have you smashed on the first date, you were struck. Uh, uh, yeah. I ain't never gone past really a first date without <laughs> smashing. I don't care who you are. <laughs> I don't care who you are, because I'm going to tell you the truth. If we make it to date number two and I don't smash, I'm not interested. And I'm going to tell you why I'm not interested. Damn. Because we don't have chemistry. We need to have so much yeah. chemistry that we can't even keep our hands off each other. <laughs> if we got yeah. the type of chemistry where we can't keep our hands off each other, then you good. If I smash, listen, I'm married to a woman I smashed on the first night. You okay. want to understand why? Because she was that thorough. She she stimulated my mind to the point where she could have took me. If she wanted me to take her home that night, I would have took her home and called her. Hey, did you make it home okay? <laughs> Nigga, you dropped me off. <laughs> you know? Nigga, you dropped me off. Home? You know, I would have hit it because my mind was so stimulated. So a lot of y'all women, y'all hustling backwards. Y'all think it's all, all a man want is a body. No, we want a woman that can stimulate us. We want a woman that can challenge us. We want a woman that makes us want to yeah. break who we are to please you. If I'm a dog, allow me to want to be better to keep you happy. I shouldn't want to want to see you crying or upset anymore. I should want to see you smiling and yeah. winning all the time. Where I tell all these other bras, like, I'm good. Me and my girl going to kick it for a little bit. Stay stay close. Stay close. <laughs> I might call you off the bench. Who knows? So, women, if y'all trying to get the rings this year, the best thing you can say is no. Or wait if you can handle it. It's a challenge. But, it's but a game. Got, they got to know how to say that shit, though. Yes. You know, and when to say it. You, you know got to finesse saying? that, though. No. Yeah, you got, you know what I'm saying? You you say that shit wrong. I'm like, oh, no? Okay, let me go and pack this dick up and take it around. <laughs> <laughs> maybe you say, maybe you say, maybe you say, I can't do it to you, but I can give you a hand job or something like that. I'll just play. <laughs> Compromise is the best thing in the world. Hey, that's Tell what you got to do. Hey, Rashad, we got one minute, man. I'm going to let you say Hey, hook these people up. How you feel about the whole thing? Waiting, not waiting, get it to you. How you feel about this? I mean, personally, I feel, man, if if, it, if it's the time is right and it feel good to you, do it. Don't hold back and wait because you might miss out on some good shit. There you, you go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's true. Because, you know what I'm saying, we only live one thing. You never know what the person got for you. You know what I'm saying? It might be something good in there for you. You know, it, it might be gold in them there hills. Hey, that the old people hey, that first date you know might get you a ring. How you feel about a smoke? Yeah. I agree with that. You agree with it? Yeah. All right. Last you word. You gotta go for it. Last word. What you feel, Mark? Well, you know what? I'm gonna tell you like this. I'm the. I am the nice guy. I'm the nice guy. Nice I guys do. lose. And listen. Every hey, time. listen. I, nah, dog. I don't lose. Listen. <laughs> listen. I'm gonna tell you. Listen. Okay. So I believe. I believe. I value women. I value what they have. I value what they have to offer in the whole nine yards. Right. I do. I value that. Mm -hmm. I understand that there's, there's there that you have something to protect. Mm -hmm. But understand that we as men have something to protect. We have things that we want and desire also. You're going to sleep on me, really. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to ignore this dude right here. But listen, but real talk, though, we all grown folks. We yeah. all grown folks at the end of the day. Let's make right. grown folk decisions, man. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know what I'm saying? About, though. You know, Straight women, up. be wise. Know that the fellas, we're going to do what we do. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And we want what we want. Mm -hmm. 
And it doesn't always mean just because we smash on the first date don't necessarily mean we ain't going to call you back for the segment. Listen. Make that thing happen, man. And if it's nice, we calling. Yes, it's, yes <laughs> we, indeed. I'm calling to make yes, sure you indeed. got home right when I dropped you oh. off. But you know what? We got another topic <laughs> to talk about. So what happens after we get the relationship? This is probably another show. Mm-hmm. But after we get the relationship and they bring their A game on that first smash, but after they get the relationship and start getting what they want, they drop off, dog. I don't know about they you. They look ahead you like this. Oh, well, nah. mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's a hole. Yeah, that is. That could be another topic. That's another topic. Oh, but next, Rashad. Next week we got a we got a fire show. Our show next week. Um, we're gonna have a dope lady up here, and it's talking about. mm, You ready for this? We talking about can you handle this? We talking about successful women that's got their own. We're gonna see why a lot of them are single. Yeah. Cause a lot of successful mm. women are single, right, yeah. so we want to know: Is this something men ain't doing? Are we not stepping up to the plate, or you know what I mean? Are, are, are they just you know too picky, aka you know don't know how to make a decision, aka right. dating the wrong dudes? So this is gonna be the time where a lot of the fellas y'all need to turn in because y'all about to get some words of wisdom. You gonna hear it coming from they the need that. mouth. I want to thank our special guest Rashad. Rashad, you was a clown, my dude. You was out here potent pimps and and hustlers and all that stuff. <laughs> but what she was saying was <laughs> church. Yes, what she was saying was good. It's the gentleman sweep show. We are gonna see y'all next, next Monday week, at what baby. time? Hey, nine, nine o'clock. o'clock. Nine o'clock. Radio baby. is back. Yeah. Salute. Indeed. Yeah. Appreciate y'all, brothers.